Tzoharayim Tovim, I hope this message finds you well. I want to share with you an important message from this week's parasha, Parashat Balak, which speaks to our current predicament. In this parasha, Balak and Bilam aim to curse the Jewish people to bring our destruction, but HaKadosh Baruch Hu thwarts their plan and turns their curses into blessings. And Bilam recognizes that he's going to fail if he continues with the same plan of attack. So he comes up, he devises another plan, which is to cause the people to sin. If I can't cause the Jewish people to be cursed, I will cause them to be sinned. And that's what Balak does, that's what Bilam does. We're told, Bilam sends the women of Moab and the Jewish people prostitute after them and engage in a terrible sin. What happened here? How is it possible that the Jewish people were not ready for this? Didn't they know that Bilam and Balak were trying to attack them? And I think there are two lessons that are very important here. Lesson number one, when we are not prepared for something mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it could cause us to fail. It could cause us to to stumble. The Jewish people were not ready for this type of uh, obstacle coming their way. They weren't ready for what Bilam was throwing at them, and therefore they stumbled and engaged in this terrible sin. We have to be mentally and emotionally prepared. We have to foresee sometimes what is going to come our way so that we can be prepared for it mentally. Lesson number two is quoted from the Midrash. Midrash Agadah teaches us, Lifnei Shever Geon. Before a fall, usually a person is arrogant or a person becomes self-confident. The Jewish people felt confident after Hashem protected them and caused the curses to turn into blessings. So we weren't ready for the fall that would be brought about by Benot Moav. Why do I bring this up? I bring this up because we are entering, unfortunately, what appears to be a second wave of coronavirus, and we're not ready. We are not mentally, spiritually, emotionally prepared. It feels like this is coming out of nowhere. We were ready the first time. We are not ready this time around. I'm sharing this message because it's important that we start getting ourselves into the mindset that this is the new reality. We could either be prepared mentally or it's going to hurt us and it's going to cause us to stumble. The second message is Lifnei Shever Geon. We've been somewhat complacent. We haven't all followed the regulations. People are not wearing their masks. People are flouting the rules. People think Israel succeeded so well the first time around and, you know, pushing back coronavirus. Nothing can stop us. We are invincible. But this is not the case. And we have to take heed. We have to internalize this message. We need to be ready mentally, emotionally, and physically for this new uptick in uh, in cases. So let's let's get ready for this. Let's learn the lesson that the Jewish people failed to learn in Parashat Balak and we will all be more prepared and more safe. Wishing you a great day, Kaltuk.